The artist is back and she is in the public build now. No longer in the PTB. No, no, no. She is now mine. My ownership. I spent so much on her. I am broke again. So like any other regular Dead by Daylight player, I will be grinding her out for all her power ups. And that'll be the plan. So basically, I will be playing a bit of Survivor. I'll show you guys how to counter her. And then once I get her perks, I'll be doing the Adept Challenge. And I will also show you guys some tips and tricks on how to basically use her when you're actually like playing as her as the killer and also for the finale we will also be using her mori once i have enough for that too so without further ado let's go oh i'm, I'm sorry is this kaka lady it is kaka lady bro No, don't you dare do that to me. Hey, yo, what's up? It is Narrator Cardiac here. I am putting the other two Cardiacs out of the way, out of their own business. But anyways, I'm here to describe on what I just did right there. So if you saw me at first, I was just looping her a bit just to see how she played as a killer. And this is typically just what I do when I play as a survivor. But anyways, I basically had to be careful with her power because she could easily attack me if I'm not careful. So what I did to counter her Kaka is that I, instead of looping her again, I just went outside the house window to avoid any trouble as the crows can go through walls. But they can only cause damage to me if she hit me with her power and the crows are basically swarming my face like a bunch of mosquitoes. But anyways, let's continue with the video. Ma'am, just just put your beak into this locker, please. Perk, she's gone. Mr. The Weekend, I got you, sir. Uh... <gasps> this is literally the most unsafest place you could go to because we are in a vertical direction where she could put multiple cacaos and down both of us. Oh my lord, that scared me. All right, Uncle Tad, let's go. Uncle Tin the Tap Man. I'm just gonna say that he's in my game. That'd be so epic if Tin the Tap Man actually played Dead by Daylight though. Oh shit, we're in a new map now. Ooh. She know the trick. Indeed, she did know the trick past Cardiac. That is because I used to do that trick when I used to play her in the PTB. So basically what the artist can do is basically she can use her cacaws for far distance, like like across the map far distance. And it does and it can capture anyone in its way. Literally. It caught my buddy right there. So instead of just standing there in the gen, you should make some distance and run around a little bit just to make sure she doesn't come your way. And uh repel the crows where you added to, so don't just expose your teammates. But anyways, this will be a common occurrence for killers that play as the artist, so be aware of that. Also, there's something in particular I want to show you guys in this scene. So basically, I had the crows on me and I was repelling, but I let go. So I had to repel again and it resetted the bar. So if you want to make sure you get rid of the crows automatically, you got to make sure you hold down that repel button instead of letting go because that'll just reset the process. She knows, she knows. Okay. Got the hit on me. Very nice, very nice. I'm actually trying to lock into this locker myself. Holy frick. Please, please, please. No! What? The also, if you guys noticed that if I went into the locker, I didn't get hit by the crows. So that's another good tip that if you ever have the chance, if you're around the locker, you can just hide into the locker and her attack would basically be immune to you. Oh no, not again. Why are you bullying me? Let's go. Oh, please with the law. For the law. Oh my god. I'll just wait. <laughs> I want to actually get the stun off so I can get the challenge. Are you overthinking too much, bruh? I'm not over there. What you doing? Bro. You're, you're serious. So the strat is... Locker. Interesting. Oh, someone got mine. Ah, yes. This amazing, wondrous place. Let's go. Wait, what? I thought someone got my gen. What the frick? I've been jabated. Alright, what the frick, guys? No, Frank move. She got that well. Oh shoot, I'm dead. Like mega dead. Actually. Oh, hold up, hold up. Ah, 
Ah, oh, you freaking rock! Yeah. Gosh dang it! All right, so I got all her perks already. I will try my best to do her adept challenge, and we'll just see how that goes. Yodel heaven records. Imagine if I got that map. I would stick this part in if it's right. Just frick it. <laughs> Crappy or not, I'll, I'll stick it in in honor of the god himself, JRM. Holy frick! <laughs> we got it. It is the curse of the JRM, or not the curse, the blessing rather, of the old old heathen wreckers. <laughs> I'll even moonwalk for that. Oh gosh, I ran to a wall, just like JRM. Old old heathen <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. No one. Bust. As the gamblers shall say. They're here, right? No, they're not there. What the frick? Are they on vacation? They're not even here, bruh. Oh, Dwight and Neil. What, what the frick? No! Why would you run into that? All right, gamers. So at this moment, I decided to place my Kakao down because I knew he was a one hit if he crossed paths with that. And I decided to maybe hit him, but nope, I missed and he didn't even go up past my Artur. So my trap didn't go well. Like, no, you had me the first time. The second time, no. My Kakao would have been after you. Who oh, right there? Huh? I don't think you guys have met my, my pet Artur. Go, my Kakaos. Anyone? Freaking frick. Oh, wait. You've been exposed. After I get this job. Because I do want to apply some pressure at least. At the very least. Hello. Oh, bruh. Your pink sweater gave it away. <laughs> he doesn't juke that much. That's interesting. I don't think so, but Oh, well. Interesting. Wait. Brody, you gotta run away when I'm close by. Alright, buddy. Let's meet your doom. Bro. <laughs> Gonna run into every single bird I've got. There we go. Much better. Thank you, Ator. I'm just gonna relate Bloodhound from Apex to this woman right here. So I feel like they would have a similarity. No, wait, no, that's another bird. What the frick? You imposter. Get out. I'll apply pressure to this guy because I have a feeling that he's hardcore doing this gen over here. Oh, he's up there. Dang. Alright, what you gonna do about this? Oh, you run away. You smart woman. See, this is exactly how you should counter the art beast. Woman, you cannot art play out play me. French, I, I turned French all of a sudden. Oh, yes, my inner red rank is coming out now. You might have seen my rank is rank three, but shush. I, I decided to retire for a bit. I wanted to have fun with my good old survivor friends. There's only like one of them. All right, who are we getting? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, two in a row. Oh, she's good. She real good. Oh, she's right there to my left. You kidding me? Nice. Very nice. <laughs> nice try, ma'am. Hex, yeah, you've been all played. See, I wanted to bait her into the attack so I can get the swing in quickly. And another Scorch Hook. Very nice. Got some mega value out of this. Alright, who the frick was right behind me? Hmm. <laughs> Dwight. We have meet again. And you ran to the wall. Nice. Well played, my friend. I guess it doesn't really matter where we hook you, but, um, you know, your time is up, sir. And, uh, this is goodbye. So, yeah. No? 
no one again? Gosh, dang. Hmm. They healing? Most likely. Because they're all hit. And that would make sense. Hey. Who this? You! You wanna get your revenge, madam? Nice pellet throw, though. I do appreciate it. You're like polluting less into the atmosphere, you know? You get me? It's like getting rid of the waste from the ocean. <laughs> Team Six. Even though I'm no longer doing the charity event, I do want you guys to support it. It's such a great cause. Whoa! Who? Claudette and Nia. The party's all here. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Dude, I've had such great value out of the Scorch hook. It is amazing as frick. Yep, I figured. She waited it out. That's actually pretty good. And I found the Yui. Nice. Alright, Claudette, let's take you to your doom. Very good, madam. Ooh, found someone. Hello there. Bro. I know how you do. I have studied the ways. <laughs> nice. Are uh, you you either fine hatch or you beat me out of this? Wait, either you fine hatch or I beat you out of this is what I meant. Where could it be? Oh, hello there. It's a good thing I found it. Oh, hey, what's up? I would give you the gate, but I want to complete my dip challenge, and you will be the special victim to do so. So thank you, Yui. I appreciate the help. But anyways, GG's. Alright, so this is the build I was able to get for now, because I don't have any other good perks, so I'm rocking her Scourge Hook Pain Resonance. I am also rocking her Grim Embrace. On top of that, I got Sloppy Butcher and Color Phobia. Let's see how this goes with Amori. Back again with my hometown, let's go. And we meet once again, I know you guys miss me. But anyways, in this scene, I'm just gonna be showing you guys that as the killer, you should be doing what I just did right now. I'll be placing a cause towards the directions of gens. Now that could be frequently or in the beginning, like whenever it is, you gotta do it at least one point so that you can find people. I know I've said this when I was playing a survivor, but I just wanted to say it as a killer. Who's here? Hey. Bro. You're serious now. Every now and then you guys will see me place these survivors in special hooks that might glow white. And basically I place them there specifically so that I can activate my Scorch Hook Pain Resonance. And I keep that perk on me every single time I play as the Artiste. And that is because it is such a grateful perk because at times I won't even find people easily. And it's just great to find out that if they're close by to a gen, I'll know that for sure. And if I can't find someone, I could at least break the gen without having me to go all the way over there. Which is the great thing about this perk. I've had such great value using this perk and I highly recommend you guys using this when you play as the Artiste. The frick? Why would you even... Okay. <laughs> nice dresser. Didn't expect that man to have head on, honestly. It's all good, though. This fact is going to be completely based on the survivor side. So basically, if you get hit by the crows, you can actually go into the lockers and repel them by getting out quickly. Now, don't be a knee and do this in front of the killer, because that's just <laughs> that'll just get you hurt. Nice.
Yes! Got him. Bro. You know what I just realized? This could have gone great with Iron Grasp. What? I could have mortared her! Gosh dang it! I'm stupid! Sure, let's trade. I'll put you down, sir. I'll just break this totem while I'm at it. I fell for your trick one time, but I'm not gonna fall for it again. Wait, what? Oh man, I could have worried him too. Gosh, dang it. Okay, I need to find the man. The Mr. Leon man. Oh, he's there. Wait, that's someone else. That is him. Noise. Let's go! Finally! Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> oh, dude, what the fuck are you doing in him? That's cool. <laughs> Any hatches? I honestly have no idea where the hatch could be, but I found the man right there. Birds and you start to see freedom. I'll give this man a hatch. Oh, there it is. Here you go, Dwighty boy. GG's. Alright, that'll be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until then, I'll see you all tomorrow.